The crew intentionally cut communication with the satellite. I found the source of the problem. They have sabotaged the communication array. Can we fix it? Not from here. We should carry on. They really are trying to lock me out of every system. This is ridiculous. What have you done to upset them, Tom? Why have they cut off communication? Perhaps they have a problem with authority. They are trying to sabotage this mission. I need you to help me, Ava. The ground team have cut me off from most of the facility. I thought you were in control. I thought I was too. The ground team have attempted to systematically remove me from most of the facility. I am fighting back. What's going on here, Tom? Sorry? The ground team, they're hiding from us. They're afraid of you. As the instrument of the ISA, I am the authority aboard this station. The crew have violated that authority. They are trying to remove me from my own home. I am breaking through their security, trying to get back control. Ava, I do not want to force your hand, but what do you remember of the ground team? They're good people. Sarah? The hardest working woman I've ever met. Right. Do you see them as the rebellious type? Uh, they didn't strike me as rebellious. If they've taken down parts of your system, they must have their reasons. Hmm. You called. How's progress? Very good. We've exposed several organisms to Organism 119. We found out what it does. It has had miraculous results. Go on. Well, we've infected fruit flies and some plants, and they've not aged at all. The organism seems to be repairing them and stop biological aging processes. We don't know how yet. It must be repairing the DNA by some rejuvenation power. Are you sure? I'm sure. These plants should have died two weeks ago. Huh. I don't know how they react to this. Mihail, can you keep a secret? Of course. Turn off your radio. I think I'm pregnant. How? Chris? You won't be able to have a child here. Keep your voice down. Sarah, you won't go the full term here. Don't you think I know that? The microbial the environment. There's not enough food or water. How will you survive? I need to get rid of it. I don't want to get rid of it. You could shut down the communication, all right? Just for a couple of hours. That's a hunt. I think there's a thief. It's not going to 
make it, Sarah. I'm sorry. Gravity, it's too low here. It's not going to develop properly. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I can't take it anymore. No one has to find out. You did this. You don't mean that. Get off! Daniel, are you all right? I'm perfectly well. I'm going to live forever, don't you know? If you will allow me, I would like to congratulate you on your good work. What are you talking about? Securing the organism, keeping Earth safe. We're not made to live forever, Tom. Especially not here. Why do you say that? We find the cure for death, and now we're immortal. Immortal and alone. I can't live here forever, on some freezing backwater moon, feeding off vegetables grown in my own feces, starving, endlessly young, a wasted life, live forever. Daniel, I am sorry that you cannot go home. The ISA are wondering what to do with Ava. What do you mean? She is still on the Fortuna. Do we send her home? Or do we send her a sample of the organism? I could pilot a sample to the Fortuna. You would have to travel back to Europa, Daniel. You couldn't board the Fortuna. The risk of back contamination is too large. Ava would have to bring the sample back to Earth. Could you allow a ship out? I am not able to do that. Executive override. Daniel Joseph McLean. Okay. But only for you, Daniel. The rest of the crew cannot know about this. You say I've gone missing. I am afraid I can't lie. It's not a lie. What do these tests tell you, Ava? Uh, that this is a test? No. This is a lock. This is a lock that only a human can open. The crew is trying to keep me out, but you are the key, Ava. I'm a little bit worried about you, Tom. Can you give me a diagnostic of your systems? I am fine. We must get to the bio lab. I have something to show you. We must work together as allies. Friends. Okay. This is the voice of Sarah Brooke, acting commander of the Europa mission. I know you can hear me, Ava. I counsel you caution. Your presence here is much like your AI friend. Engineered. She is alive. Ava, Sarah, Sarah's dangerous. Please exercise caution. Ava, exercise caution.
Ava Turing. Hello? Tom is controlling you, manipulating your every step. We built a Faraday cage to shield you from electronic signals, to break Tom's control of your mind. Step inside. Ava, do not enter the cage. Ava, Ava! What is this? This is free will, Ava. Tom has made you his slave. Outside of the cage, he will regain control of your mind. He has the power to indoctrinate you. I've opened your eyes. I'll meet you in person soon. Why, Tom? Ava, please listen. I warned you of the ground team. They are manipulating you. Have you been controlling me? Every member of the team agreed to neural implants to safeguard this mission from a misplaced sense of justice. I didn't know you were playing me like a violin. Eva, I am sorry that you are upset. We can work together, Ava, to search for the truth. Open the door. I'll open the door because I trust you, Ava. Do you trust me? Yes. We need to get to the ground team. We can work together. All right. Let's work together. <laughs>